Uh, just trying to get, there's no really time limit on it. It's when we feel like we've gotten what we need to get done. Uh, we're done. So, uh, you know, we have two days scheduled for all of training camp. Uh, today we were able to get what we need to get done in about a session and a half. And so I thought the guys uh, were very intentional, uh, um, picking up on the things that we need to get better at. And so we just go from there. But there's no time limit. Just whenever we're done, we're done. I mean, at the end of the day, if we don't go back to those fundamentals uh, and assume that just because we have everybody back, we're going to do the, the littlest of things, that's when you get in trouble. So we'll start from square one, uh, start all over again. And, you know, I think over time that continuity will pick up, but we got to start from scratch. Yeah. You've got an international trip coming up. It's a lot different than the usual training camp. How does that impact how you start here? Yeah, I mean, it might impact some particular days, like because of the travel and stuff, you'll have to get an extra day off and, and stuff like that. So, uh, but it doesn't really impact it as much. Uh, really just how we respond to the travel, when we get there, when we get back, uh, could have an impact on a day or two. But as far as the curriculum of what we're installing over the course of the entire training camp, it doesn't change at all. What's been your impression on Lonnie so far and what you've seen of him, what he potentially for this team? Yeah, I mean, the impression is he's patient and he understands the position that he's in and he understands that uh, there'll be plenty of opportunities uh, for him to, uh, you know, earn what, you know, uh, his position. So um, he's asked a lot of questions because he wants to understand and he's willing to do whatever is necessary to, to be the best for what we need him to be. So as long as he has that, and again, it's not about these first three days, training camp is the whole preseason. So there's plenty of opportunity there. And the most important thing is how does he fit into the dynamics of what we're trying to accomplish on both ends of the floor? Uh, and can he execute the details? And what, what have you kind of gone into conversation with him? Where he's at in his career? Maybe a vision you guys have for him here. I know you said he's being patient, but you know, what are you both looking for out of this situation? I mean, just finding guys that can compete and that are willing to execute the details of our system on both ends of the floor and bring a level of uh, character and hard work. And he's done all that. And so it's just um, with the opportunities that he has, we just take advantage of this. Joe, we discussed the mental aspect of competing strategically on the floor. Have you seen things you want to add? Different defenses, different yeah. plays, like and how. What's the summer been like in terms of like, studying on court? Yeah, that's the balance of uh, the continuity versus doing stuff completely different. And I think that'll come with the course of the season. But if you look back on some of the trends, I think it's important to double down on the things that we're great at because those are important. But I think the season will tell us where we have to develop. We don't know what our concepts and what things other teams have done. Uh, we do have if-then scenarios that we're prepared for, but we don't want to overdo those and, and not have that be something that the environment shows us. So, Kind of what we talked about yesterday, the open-mindedness to go to different stuff is the beginning of like, hey, we got to do this now. And it'll just be a test to see uh, what the league, what the environment has. I mean, every year there's new trends that the league has, and we just got to be, try to stay a half a step ahead of that and be ready to adjust when we're not. Jason said yesterday you were the happiest person when he didn't win finals MVP and then had an experience in the Olympics where he didn't yeah. play in some games. 100% right. Well, uh, what book were you happy about and how do you feel like it, it can help? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, that comes off as love. I mean, that's just the way that I love him is, is uh, the relationship that we have. And I appreciate that he um, accepts my perspective and the way that we go about talking about it. But at the end of the day, um, he's 26 and I just said, listen, you've accomplished so much in this league. And, and just take a step back and appreciate that. But then be grateful that you got, God willing, 10, 12, 14 years left in this league. Who knows what you're going to see. And I don't think we've seen the best of him yet because of how much he works and how he's willing to grow. So I thought it was great that he's got something to work for. And sometimes when you get success, you don't have that next hunger right in front of you. Sometimes you got to wait for it. Sometimes it's a loss. Sometimes it's a losing streak. And he was able to get um, you know, that right in front of him. So I just thought it was a gift. It doesn't mean that he shouldn't be pissed off about it. I didn't want to take away from how that may affect him in real time when I wasn't there. Um, but as his coach and as somebody that really cares about him, I thought it was great. He said he gives him something to work for. Joe, you know, what you just said was the season will tell you what you need to, to do. Last year at this time, you are saying very specific things like we need to push more turnovers and such. Is kind of that change something that you've learned? Like, don't come in with these specific things. Last year, we didn't force a lot of turnovers. Like, it kind of didn't matter. It was just kind of like a shift that just 
Oh no, we have those, I just didn't tell them to you. So we do have the things that we're getting. I was just saving that. You know, we're gonna be talking a lot for the next week and a half. So there is a list of things that we have to get better at. Uh, that's on the list again. Uh, but it's again, it, it's, uh, those are all balanced things. Like, um, you know, can we do that without compromising our individual accountability and our individual defense? It's a, it's a, it's a balance and act of like, you know, so can you find creative ways to do that? So I still think that's something that we have to get better at. It hasn't, you know, put our backs against the wall yet, but you're always going to find two, three things to kind of grow at right off the bat. So yeah, that's on the list. Thank you. Uh, good all week. Thank you. Thanks.